There's a video that I spent probably five hours working on. It was a response video to a Jacqueline Glenn video, her latest video. And you know, I went to go set it to render. I went somewhere for a while, came back, played the video and go, this video is crap. You know, it was it was suggesting that Jacqueline never attacks the right. And it was it just that that was that was incorrect. It was just incorrect. So but there were some things that I really wanted to say and I've wanted to say for a while in it. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that here, but the the extreme left does not have um, backing by I don't know what you'd call it under the underground part of YouTube that's actually quite popular. And what I mean by that is you don't see people hosting uh, v videos with with just like like hundreds of thousands of views from the left from the extreme left that are really really that where every almost everyone watching is super supportive of this extreme left thing you don't find that you do find it on the other side you got you got Andy Warsky who who hosts uh, pe people that have some very despicable beliefs he hosts white nationalists, white separatists, white supremacists. He hosts all these people. And all these people are watching. And if you and if and if there's the, the comments on the side, um in the, in the live chat, you know, anyone who tries to interject anything that goes against the this narrative, they're they're immediately called a cuck and all this sort of thing. You know, it's it's so the right, the the extreme right is so propped up on this platform, and yet people are claiming that the people we should be focused on, on uh, calling out, should be the left. Oh, we should call out the left. Let's call out the left. Let's call out the left. Do you know how many fucking videos are out there calling out the left? We needed. Oh, we needed some more. Oh, I. I so many people on the left have went in hiding even they don't they, they stop making videos and anyone who who even thought about making videos they've stopped making they they didn't even start they'll probably wait till another platform is is plentiful enough you know maybe igtv will be the platform for them if 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 they if instagram eventually gets their shit together but they're chased off the platform <sighs> You know? Oh, well, they're just wussies. No, they're just tired of dealing with the... the, the, the <laughs> truly hateful mindsets. Narrow, hateful. It's like... It, it's some of the same, the same mindset that just like Trump supporters kind of revolve around. A lot of them. Is this, you know... Oh, immigrants that aren't white are the problem and, and 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 black people are the problem and 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 the trans people are, are are ruining the family and and just all of these these and then some very racist views and we're we're supposed to be kind and gentle and and to those kinds of views we're supposed to respond positively to that shit? Just... Or, you know, it's either that shit or it's just the, the pure insults. Oh, I'm stating my opinion. And if you stop me from insulting you, that's, that's, that's eroding my freedom, freedom of speech. My freedom of speech. 
So it's just some stupid shit. And then so when I see people saying, oh, well, well, the left is the problem and the left is the left is the reason why uh, uh, why Trump won. And the left is the reason why. Uh, uh, and I'm just going, you know, we're going to just see what happens in the midterms. That's what will that's what will show what things really are. I have I have hopes, high hopes that there's going to be a blue tsunami, so to speak. You know, I've got high hopes for that. I don't really want to believe that such a large percentage of this country is in favor of some of the worst aspects of this administration. Um... Because I mean, if 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 that much of a percentage of the of of the population is actually that backwards in thinking, you know, I might try to consider things that I could do to not to be in this country anymore. But I don't want to believe that the that that much of a percentage of the country is that way. I think. A lot of people are sort of spellbound by how different Trump is. There's a lot of people. It's 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 almost like a spell. It's very very much like a cult, cult forty five. Um, and it's very Orwellian, as I've said before. Trump can have an opinion. Say this over here. And the Trump supporters will be all for it. And then he says something completely different over here. And they'll pretend that he never said this over here. Very Orwellian. Tr the whole Trump administration is... It, well, Trump is very Orwellian. And he expects people to... To just... Well, I mean, alternative facts. You know, I just... It, The fact that people can't really seem to accept how horrible this presidency is is sad, is, is very disturbing. So we've got a, we've got a president that doesn't give a shit about uh, immigrants unless they're white and Christian. His mindset has emboldened people, has emboldened the far right, has emboldened the alt right, has emboldened so many others who feel that immigrants uh, that aren't white and minorities are the, the problem. Just. I. I. I And I, I want to hope that that big of a percentage of the country doesn't actually agree with that. It's, it's like within two years finding out that Half the country is still living 30 years ago. Actually, closer to 40 years ago. They're still... Just... I guess I don't know how to describe it. I consider it rather backwards for people to not be able to cope with what reality 
is now. And just want to pretend things are like they were before. I guess I don't know what to say now. And I don't think I've gotten off my chest what I really wanted. But I am so incredibly tired of, of so many people saying, we need to call out the left. Well, I am on the left, and that means I should call, that, call out the left even more. Yes, there should be call, people should call out the left. Okay, I'm not saying that it shouldn't be done, but look at this platform. Look at it. Do you think that there aren't enough videos about that shit already? Do you seriously think there's not enough already? Now people could say, well, do you think there's not enough about, about the right? No, because they're in power. They're the ones that have the power right now. Well, mainstream media is always against him. So we don't need to hear anything on, on, on independent media. Independent media should be pro-Trump. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking hate that shit. Is some of you just, just haven't even slightly considered that maybe mainstream media might be right. Maybe Trump really is that bad. Maybe, maybe our intelligence agencies are right. No, it couldn't possibly. They haven't released all the evidence out to that, that that's supposed to be you know, secret, that, you know, only in these courts. Oh no, they haven't released it, therefore it must not be anything. Look at all the indictments. Look at the Benghazi. Look at uh, Benghazi. No indictments. Look at at other other investigations against Clinton. No indictments. We have all these indictments. Then you'll probably say, "Well, you know, it, it's because there. Uh, it's all this big conspiracy uh, 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 from the, the from Hillary Clinton. It, it, she she." Uh, she ha is in cahoots with the intelligence agencies, and uh, uh, that's why they, there were no indictments. Doesn't matter how many facts are in front of you, you can't accept how bad Trump is. You know, I'm sorry some of you are tired of hearing about how bad he is. I, I'm sorry, but he's negatively affecting the country. Socially, he's fucked this country. You don't put someone with absolutely zero class who only knows how to talk in locker room talk you don't make someone like that president. Just that by itself. Look at how it's affected society. You say, well, it's not his fault. Yes, it is. Well, it's our society's fault for making him president. You know, we were able to be proud of Obama in those areas. Obama was probably one of the most well-spoken presidents we've ever had. He was a fantastic orator, and you can't deny that. You can't deny that at all. He was a fantastic orator. He... What is the word I'm trying to find? He, he motivated so many people. What has Trump motivated people to be? Well, Trump has motivated the alt-righters and the white nationalists, and the white supremacists, and the white separatists.
we went from one extreme to the other. Now I'm not saying that some of these issues that, that have these political issues that are going on, I'm not saying that uh, they wouldn't have occurred if Trump wasn't president. I'm sure a lot of these issues would still be going on. I mean, as, as issues of race, we, 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 we have race issues in this country. And it's, there is, there's only one good thing about, about uh, what's been going on, and that's it's, we're finally seeing how racist this country actually is. And that same sort of thing, some of you don't want to accept that either. But I, I you know, I, I, I am so tired. And I've, I've said, this is my third time, I believe, saying it in this video. I am so tired of the message that only the left should be called out. Well, we're not saying only the left. Though the right has to do something specific. Look at all the stuff that's fucking going on. Look what just happened with with Putin. Oh, that's a lot of you. Shut up after that. And some of the ones still, <laughs> still uh, pushing that Trump is great. Uh, you should see some of the the stuff they're using to justify. Trump's statements. Oh no, we shouldn't trust our own intelligence. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with the president not trusting our own intelligence and trusting another country's uh, the 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 <laughs> another country's intelligence. No, no, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. I just hope that if Trump does something that's even more boneheaded than that, I hope it's not something that really hurts us. I hope he does something so boneheaded, though, that there's no way that the that Republicans can support him anymore. That's that's my main hope is is for Republicans to not really support him anymore because he doesn't really he certainly doesn't hold their religious values, of course they don't hold their religious values either. They claim to, but they usually just use religious people to get votes. I'm sure everyone's seen the Republican Jesus memes, you know. Suck it up, right? It's so strange. The the politics in the United States is so strange. And I'm just going to end the video on that. Let's see how long this is. Oh boy, it's a really long one. <laughs>